Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another SCZ Live. I am Sinead. I'm going to hope that at 2 o'clock we have no technical difficulties and we're able to keep the camera function the right way all the time. I'm going to go ahead and switch us right over because we are in a super interesting area of the zoo. We are in our tiger holding area. Jody here is going to do an ultrasound on one of our tigers. Send us here to tell us what's going on. So this is our female Natasha, um, and what we're, like Shanae said, we're going to be doing a little bit of tiger ultrasound training, or at least attempting to. Um, now a lot of people know that during our training sessions to the public that they've been, that we talk about our blood draws, we talk about the training that we do with weights, um, and getting them used to being, you know, on scales. Well, this is another thing that we are working on getting them training for, uh, and that's ultrasound training. So. As many of you, or some of you may know, we did put Natasha and Grom, who is the other tiger over here, for anybody who's uh, together a little while ago. And there were some pretty successful attempts at breeding. And so we are just doing a little bit of ultrasound training so that way we can get Natasha used to uh, the ultrasound. Uh, and I don't know if you can kind of see, but there is a little bit of gel like you would on you know, an adult or human, sorry, uh, ultrasound. Um, and today is the first day that she has had that gel, and obviously it looks like she has no problems with it, so that's good. Um, sometimes, you know, animals are used to the stick or the poking or the touching sensation, but the smell or the feel of that gel, uh, it's not a huge fans of, so we have to kind of get them used to that gel at times. Uh, but Jody's done an awesome job here with Natasha. We're used to all this, as you can kind of see. Uh, the reason that she's doing it up above is because it just gives her a lot more of maneuverability, uh, gives her a lot more range, uh, so that way she can get different parts of her body, uh, she can kind of move, as opposed to doing it on the front of the mesh where we are unable to uh, move our hands a little bit more. And this is all Natasha's choice. Yes. She can choose to be up here, she can choose to go down. Absolutely. Um, now as you can kind of see, we, you know, the reward that she is getting for this training session is just a portion of her daily diet. That is just her meat that she would get every day. Um, now a lot of times during the training sessions we'll give different things, sometimes horse loin or beef heart uh, or different types of, you know, their diet. A lot of other, you know, parts of her body. Um, so we're able to kind of around her stomach and her waist, but we would potentially be able to see up around her lungs and her chest if need be. Uh, and this is also something that, you know, typically when a lot of times people hear or think of ultrasound, you know, they'll think of, you know, females or humans. Uh, that we can also do on Grom here, our male, so we can have for any other type of. Uh, issues that he could potentially have or just to make sure that he's doing well. Did you want to say something, Jody? Sorry. I was just saying, if she doesn't come on over, if she'd like to get a close video class, we're done with the actual ultrasound part. So she did awesome. So see what she's getting right now is beef heart. Kind of a, a big treat for them. Uh, the tigers really enjoy it. Um, and so as you can see, it's a reward for her for, you know, sitting and uh, doing the training session on uh, the front training mesh because that is a little bit more bendable. <laughs> I hope everybody can hear the tiger slurping noises as well. <laughs> yeah, and one thing that's kind of neat, uh, I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but most cats do have little barbs on their tongue, uh, even house cats, um, and sometimes you can actually see and hear them uh, when they're eating the meat here. <laughs> you can hear the scratch, scratch. So that scratching noise is those little barbs on her tongue actually scratching Jody's hand or the glove there. 
<laughs> now, Jonathan, we're in our back tiger holding area here at the zoo. I'm going to go ahead and pan out just a little bit here to kind of give an idea of how this area works. Now, Natasha is in this overhead transfer um, where she could potentially go from her indoor bedroom here up and over to another bedroom without us ever having to have contact with her? Absolutely. So you can kind of see we have these sliders. Uh -huh. um, and this is how we move our tigers around. A lot of people are curious how we get them from one exhibit to the next. And exactly like you said, we are able to open these doors if we needed to and get one from one side to the other. Um, now we also have other shift doors, which are these things. Um, and that's what those white doors are that you can see. Uh, in their little bedroom and that allows them to go from side to side so that way we can do almost a whole entire circle because there is another overhead chute on the other side of uh, this building which is behind us so i'm going to just do a complete circle here so that everybody can kind of see how we operate here's that second chute that jonathan was just talking about which then allows us to circle the cats all the way around. And we can see grom here on this side install three and then natasha's over here install four now one big kind of interesting fact that a lot of people probably don't know is that you know a little while ago here at Sedgwick county we did switch to a two lock key system um, so as you can kind of see on the doors there is a red lock and there's also a yellow lock now this helps us keepers to be safe not only for us individually the public but also for the animals so this requires two separate keys uh, to unlock so it requires two keepers uh, that way we can double check each other uh, that way it's not completely reliant upon one person um, and that's how we pretty much work all dangerous cats here at Sedgwick County um, and it definitely does help um, to just make sure everything is a lot more safe and secure for them and Natasha seems completely relaxed and comfortable with everybody in here after her training session yeah, and um, you guys that did get to see that was with the ultrasound training, we're in for kind of a treat because this is still relatively a new thing that Jody's been working on. Um, but she has been doing really well, uh, both Jody and Natasha. And we did, we're able to do, uh, we did blood draw training this morning. Um, so she did get quite a bit of her uh, diet that we would give her training during that. So we were unsure if she was actually going to really be that interested in training for us this afternoon, but she did awesome. Yes, she, was, she did beautiful. So I want to just show a kind of a size comparison. Here's Natasha here, and I'm going to just zoom right in. And here's Grom, um, <laughs> and, and there's a difference in, in size that sometimes when they're out in the woods, you just don't really notice. Well, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you to Jody and Jonathan today for joining us on Facebook. I know this